With less than 48 hours to go until the gavel drops on the Democratic National Convention, bombshell revelations about how the Democratic National Committee does business. A WikiLeaks email dump suggests Bernie Sanders may have been right. The primary system was rigged against him. Here to weigh in, Harlan Hill, a former Sanders supporter who's now pulling for Trump, and Mark Levine, a radio talk show host who has for a very long time supported Hillary Clinton. Uh, Harlan, start with you right now. First, on the issue of Bernie Sanders, does this WikiLeak dump, a lot of emails in there talking about his religion, talking about all sorts of other things, prove that Sanders was right all along? Oh, absolutely. Look, it proves all of us conspiracy theorists. They, you know, they made fun of us for a long time saying that we were delusional. And this just confirms what we knew, which was the DNC protectionism as led by Debbie Wasserman Schultz, probably the most corrupt leader of either party uh, in a century. Um, you know, she did everything in her power to advance Hillary Clinton and to suppress Bernie Sanders. Mark, we'll get to the veracity of Harlan's arguments here in a minute, but I think you could agree that this is not exactly what the DNC wanted 48 hours before the convention began. No, listen, I'm sure the Russian hackers who work for Vladimir Putin want Donald Trump to be elected because Donald Trump, you know, is ready to abandon NATO hold and on, let hold Russia on, hold invade on, the Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll get to the veracity in a second, but just you can agree that this probably is not great timing for the Democrats. I'm sure the Russians who released this wanted to embarrass the Democrats, but there's not that much there there. I mean, what you have is, for example, someone wrote Debbie Rossman Schultz and said, we want to say that the Sanders campaign is a mess. And she wrote back and said, no, I have to stay neutral. So what happened well, but, is... But, hold on, but what, about, what about all the talk about Sanders' religion and the, whether or not he's Jewish or whether or not he's an atheist? Is that really conversation to be had by members of the DNC? Again, one guy, a Hillary Clinton supporter, wrote a letter and said, hey, we should talk about Bernie Sanders' religion, and he was shut down. They no. didn't talk about it. Look, the people who are on the DNC, <laughs> like most Democrats, are Hillary supporters or Sanders supporters. In a primary, each tries to win for their candidate, and the DNC, as an entity, stayed neutral. Yeah, some individuals wrote... Mark this, that's a ridiculous thing to say. That's a ridiculous thing to say. How about the, uh, the, the leak at uh, NGP Van where they accused Bernie Sanders' team of hacking uh, the voter file? That's ridiculous to, well, to claim that the Democratic National Committee was, was stayed above the fray throughout the entire uh, uh, primary season. And this just confirms it. Sanders didn't hack the it voter was file. Deliberate. What, what happened was, and I use NGP Van, you know I'm a Virginia State delegate. What happened was NGP Van had a glitch in it that allowed Bernie Sanders supporters to look into Hillary Clinton's files, and the DNC hates said, "Say stop doing that," and Sanders stopped doing that, and it was over. I mean, I think this is really a mountain. Oh out of my Memorial. God! I cannot believe you just over. You just there was a lawsuit. They were the the Sanders team was going to have to sue the DNC to get access to their own data. The, the you are glossing over it because oh. you want reconciliation and you don't want to face the systemic problems at the DNC that demonstrate a very clear complicity across across the entire organization that. Exists sins down to the media. You, you know, anyone who claims to be a Sanders supporter and a Trump supporter, <laughs> I really think that uh, you need to check whose side you're on. Mark, it's because, no, there's there's a lot of commonality between these two candidates. No, there's Much not. Much more than no, between Bernie and Sanders. No, yes, look, there is. Sanders is trade. against racism. Sanders is not about fear. Sanders is about bringing the country together the way Hillary is. I, I can't imagine anyone who's watched that this convention of fear. This is Orwellian doublespeak that has uh, become the hallmark whoa. of the Democratic Party. You repeat a chill, lie and chill. Well, and it I know Donald true. Trump gets and you're excited. engaging in it, Mark. Guys, because, you know, yeah, I, for your I, own political I had prepared, Guys, I had prepared for like 30 minutes or 40 minutes for this panel. <laughs> I had all sorts of great questions written Go down. And I, I didn't. I didn't need any of them. It's been great seeing you guys, uh, Harlan. We're very quickly here, we're going to get to the issue of Donald Trump, who you support. One of his tweets, many tweets today, leaked emails of DNC shows plan to destroy Bernie Sanders mock his heritage and much more online from WikiLeaks, really vicious rig. Uh, for English teachers out there, that is not our misspelling or that of our teams, that is Donald Trump's. But uh, on that issue, Harlan, how does this play? How does Trump begin to capitalize it working out of this tweet? Look, I mean, it's going to be tough for him at this point because, unfortunately, the mainstream media has been able to rebrand Donald Trump as a racist. And uh, and when you look at who he is as a man, that's that's not who Donald Trump is. They've tr they've made any sort of of, of why did of, Paul Ryan uh, attempt, call his comments racist? They've made any the sort judge. of attempt to reform immigration, 
uh, to be a racist issue. And I find I find that to be very Even offensive. Even Paul Ryan Secure said that Donald Trump made racist, racist comments. Racism. The heart of it is this. Bernie Sanders supporters are never going to go to Donald Trump. These are progressive people well, who well, care well, about Mark, equality Mark, in America. Mark, the polls don't actually Mark, substantiate the, the, that the claim. Fact, yeah, the facts don't substantiate that at all. You look at the West Virginia exit polling, More among a lot of other exit polling, they show 40 percent of Bernie Sanders supporters could be convinced to go to Trump. And the, you're sitting here talking to somebody who's a Bernie Sanders supporter who already went to Trump. Isn't well, this something that Hillary Clinton needs to be worried about? I think Harlan is rarer than a unicorn eating Greek cheese on the moon. <laughs> all right. Uh, it, actually, those West Virginia polls are very interesting. What they show was that Trump supporters. Harlan, 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 Harlan is that a compliment? It's very rare. Uh, I'll take it as one because I'd much rather conform to the ideals of the Democratic Party as I've understood them for a long time than this new Democratic what Party ideals? that's forming out what of ideals? the Hillary Clinton campaign. Raise minimum wage, increase wages, increase jobs, things that Hillary well, Clinton but, but, and Bernie Har I'm not for those things if you raise them. Look, if we go to $15, unfortunately, this is something that I didn't agree with. On, uh, for, with uh, what Bernie did you Sanders agree campaign. with that Bernie if Sanders go, stood for? If we go to $15. What did you agree with that Bernie Sanders stood for? Me, let me finish. Well, trade, that's the biggest issue in my mind. Look, the middle class has been gutted in this country. Right. I, you and, know, it, and Donald and Trump is sending jobs abroad. That he, well, why is your the, candidate going to China and firing Americans to do it? Why is your candidate doing that personally? Oh, my God. Let's take a step back here. It's very clear that the policies of the of the Clinton administration in the 90s, which Hillary Hillary has supported since, but and Donald TPP, Trump does outsource which it. Hillary Clinton, which Hillary Clinton called the gold standard over 40 times before Donald she backtracked Trump on it in the primary, from the very conduct that you complain of. How can you support him? He is the only candidate in this race that has been ideologically consistent on this issue. <laughs> Hillary Clinton has not. She has flip-flopped. She's been on three or four different sides of this issue. I don't know what she believes, frankly. And at least Donald Trump well, has created a job. Hillary Clinton's never done it in her life. Yeah, he's created some Chinese jobs. Good for them. Yeah. Uh, Tens of thousands of American jobs. How many jobs have you created, Mark? Oh, now you're going to go personal? <laughs> really? Yeah. You yeah. know, and on, on that note, Call shockingly, gentlemen, gentlemen, yeah, sh sh shockingly, now we're out of time. Imagine that, Mark Harlan. Uh, I'm so glad I prepared all those questions. You guys stole the show. I appreciate it. We'll have you back. Thanks, Leland. Thanks, guys. Liz? All right, man.